Hello, this is Nestor Tilson here. This is a short video to show how to set up drawers uh, with um, sliders. Uh, sliders being metallic sliders. This is where we're going to set up this drawer here with a metallic slider that is actually screwed onto the side of the cabinet and onto the side of the drawer. This is not an evident thing to do in polyboard because we cannot link the side of the cabinet directly to the side of the drawer. So we, what we actually do is we are actually going to create a link between the side of the cabinet to the front of the drawer and to the side of the drawer to the front of the drawer. So we'll be moving, we're actually creating a link with an intermediary piece which is in fact the front of the drawer that is going to help us position the two, um, the two fittings or the two the, the set of holes that we're going to drill that are going to actually be used to screw the fittings into place. So the actual the idea is that we put in a sort of um, sliders like this, metallic sliders, uh, that are going to be, we're going to set up a distance which is the thickness of the slider between the side of the drawer and then we're going to set up a fittings, hardware fittings, so that the we can actually know the positioning of the holes that we're going to drill on both the side of the drawer and the side of the cabinet. So how do we do this? Well, let's just start by some. Let's start as usual with a just a straight simple cabinet. Let's um, click not to save this one, and let's just open a new cabinet. A new cabinet. Let's give it. Let's make um, the cabinet this default box, which is just um, a box which we can put a drawer in. So here we have an empty box. And if I click into the area, move the mouse into the area, click right and I do add drawers and we can add a drawer. Uh, let's in the drawer is, uh, itself let's go into the assembly of the drawer let's put um, we've always got a drawer front of course which is the facade drawer facade and let's just put a couple of sides and we could put a bottom eventually let's put a bottom and we can see here lateral slack will be the distance between the side of the cabinet and the side of the drawer. So this lateral slack I'm going to put in here 12.7 millimeters which will be the exact thickness or the width well thickness of the mechanical drawer slider. If I click OK and let's put it in and we have now the drawer. If we go into 3D and we can now see the drawer in 3D we can open it and we can see that we have everything on the drawer except of course the back and we have the two sides and if you look in trans x-ray view we have everything except of course what we're looking to do here the actual holes drilled into the side and the side of the drawers well how do we put these holes in well the first thing we have to do to put the holes in is to create the fittings we're going to libraries fittings hardware fittings of this now let's create a new fitting and let's call this new fitting, let's call it a drawer slider. We call it a drawer slider. Okay, I'm going to call this drawer slider. Let's call it a drawer slider. I'm going to call it a box. I'll put box at the end of it to say that this is the holes that we're going to drill, draw, um, drill into the side of the cabinet. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to define the holes that we're going to drill inside the cabinet and we can decide to define a, diff a different fitting if we want for the holes that are going to be drilled into the size of the drawer. Um, this is, for this particular example, let's just use one drawer slider fitting which is going to give us the same holes uh, on the side of the drawer as on the side of the cabinet. Well, once we've done that, and we're going to here the reference, let's have a look at our particular uh, bit of our fittings um, image here, our 3D image, and here we have the overpassing panel and the underpassing panel. And we have to imagine here that this overpassing panel is in fact the drawer front, and this is actually the drawer side, uh, the cabinet side, or the drawer side. But we're going to reference the drawer front. The drawer front is going to give us the position on both the cabinet side and the drawer side. So let's say that we want to ref ha set up this bit of hardware and what we want to set up this bit of hardware on the ins a relative the inside of our of our if this is the cabinet side the inside of our cabinet side 
Um, we want to give a price. Well, let's just give a price, any old price, tooling price. Let's take takes two euros to set up the drill holes, and let's add a let's add a, let's add a, a drill a drilling on it. So the drilling here, we're going to drill onto the face um, face number one. Let's uh, I think it's going to be face number two, in fact. And the drilling, we're going to drill. We're not going to groove, and we're going to drill holes of four millimeters they're not going to be going through and they're going to be for instance 15 millimeters deep and we can see now the representation of the hole we click here we can see the hole that is drilled on the if this is the inside here if we have here the inside of the cabinet side the hole will be drilled here if it's referenced zero but what we want to do is we want to put it at the first distance along the, um, the, the the first drilling that we needed for our draw runner. So that would be something like this. Let's see if I do control B. Uh, we would have the first distance would be something like around about here. The first hole, shall we say, something around about here. I have here, for instance, something like 35 millimeters. So if we go back to 35 millimeters here, what I want here in my X position, I'll leave it at zero, that is aligned to the position of the, um, the, the, the default position zero. And the Y position, let's put it at 35 back from the f this front edge here, this line, left reference line here. And this is going to be our first hole that we're going to drill for the slider. Let's drill another hole for the slider. It's always going to be drill, we're going to drill this slider, this hole is always on the face, or face two, which would be the inside. The diameter will always be four millimeters, of course. The depth will always be 15 millimeters, of course. But this time, instead, the wire position will be the next hole along. So let's have a look here. The next hole along would be sort of uh, this hole here, for instance, somewhere around here on the slider. This would depend on the particular uh, model, the slider model that you have. So let's say that this next position is going to be something like 100 mil. So I put 100 mil along here. And now we have 100 mil. If we zoom out a bit in that X-ray view here, 100 mil. And now we want another one. Let's click another one here. And this time, to, always on phase two, we'll be drilling it at um, four millimeters and always the same depth, 15 millimeters. And the Y position now will not be 102. It will be, let's say we're gonna have if the slider is about 400 deep, let's say it's going to be 350. So now we have 350 here. So we have our three holes here. We have one, two, three holes that would be fitting our draw slider on. And now we've got, now we've set up we've set up this um, particular bit of hardware here called the draw slider box. This will be the actual um, things we're the, the holes we're going to drill on the side of the cabinet. Now we want the same. We want the same another fitting, which is going to be the draw side. The holes we're going to drill on the draw side. And as I said before, let's just for this example to go quickly. Let's say that the holes are drilled, you know, exactly the same in exactly the same place. And we'll see that's the, the going to be easy way to do it. Uh, if we say that the same, we've got the same holes that are drilled on the cabinet side as on the outside of the drawer. So we're going to just copy this particular rule. So we've got one rule here called draw slider box. Uh, let's um, duplicate it and we call it, um, let's call it draw slider box. And we won't call it draw slider box this time, but we'll call it draw slider, um, draw slider, uh, let's call it side. Draw slider, draw side. I'll go draw slider, D side. Like that. Draw slider on the draw side. Okay, and we've got a, we've we've actually got um, exactly the same rules here. So we've got a 
We've got a hole, it's being drilled on the inside here, face two, of our, our um, draw side, which is not exactly what we want because this is now, in this uh, particular 3D window, we have to imagine that this is the draw front and this is the draw side. And we don't want it on the inside, we want it actually now on the outside. So we just changed to face two and we put face one. And now we can see, if I look at on edge here, we can see that the, the hole is now drilled from the outside, on the outside of the drawer. We can maybe change the depth, but we don't want it 15 is quite deep for that particular hole if the draw side is not going to necessarily be you know 20 millimeters thick. Let's just put it at say eight. And now we have eight. So that's okay. But the positions we're leaving the same because we're saying that for this particular draw slider the position, the hole positions are the same on the side of the cabinet and on the side of the drawer. Just change the other ones too. We change the face two to face one and change 15 mil to eight mil face 2 here to face 1, 15mm to 8mm, and see where we're drilling here. And here we have the three drillings on the draw side. That's fine. Now let's click OK. OK, now let's, uh, let's just uh, apply this fitting, this draw slider, to this particular mini cabinet with one drawer in it by selecting an individual panel. Uh, let's say, for instance, that we open, we explode the box with the with the with the drawer. If we click on the drawer side, and then we look at the link of this drawer side with the drawer front, and we click on open the drawer front here in its properties, and we click the fittings link, and we'll have we'll add a fittings link that is links this drawer side to the drawer front, and the fitting that we're going to choose here is the draw slider D side. That is, we're going to choose the the, the drill at the holes that we drilled in the dr side of the draw, the draw for the draw slider D side. And the rule we're going to choose, we're going to choose one of the existing rules here. Uh, we, we could set up our own rule, but in fact, what we need is just, a, just one single set of holes along the draw side. And let's take up a, a rule here, for instance, a unique rule. Uh, we have here a unique 60.5 rule, which just means that we're going to put one um, one row of holes at 60.5 millimeters from the bottom of the drawer. And when I click OK, we can see that now we have the holes that have been drilled at the bottom of the drawer side. What we need as well now is to apply the rule which is associated with that rule to the side of the cabinet. So we click on the cabinet side here and we go back to linking to the front and the fittings link here will be the same. We're going to add a little fittings link here. The, the fitting link this time will be not the draw slider D side but the draw slider box. The rule will be exactly the same the unique 60.5 and when I click OK I will have the corresponding holes that have, been that have been created on the draw side. You can see that here and if we have a look in our 3D we can see that we have the holes on the cabinet side and the holes on the draw side that line up as we have defined them both both position of beach holes actually in front of one another. That's what that's how to apply this particular fitting into individual parts. And in this way we have applied the fittings link um, to individual parts by clicking on the drawer side and the cabinet side. An easier way to do this uh, when you have a drawer because they're actually um, two sides and, and two cabinet sides is to define a library sub method. Um, it's even better to use a library sub method of course when you've got lots of different drawers and this will uh, avoid having to apply these fitting links individually to each part. To use a library sub method we go to libraries and we click into sub methods and with sub methods fitting links sub methods. We would create the sub method and call it for instance a draw slider and then we would give it a reference number, for instance 001 in this case. And we would add a fittings rule. And in this fittings rule, 
we will be adding a rule, specific rule for the draw, the draw, the draw side and the cabinet side. Let's start with the cabinet side. In both cases, we're using the facade component as a reference, which is the actual draw front. So I would open up the cab facade components and I would click on draw, open up draw, and you and um, tick the draw frontage. When the draw frontage for the cabinet holes, holes in the cabinet uh, side of the cabinet, we will open up the cabinet box pool as the underpassing panel and click on sides. And here we'll add a rule when these cabinets or for these particular parts. The rule will be, of course, the uh, draw slider box, and the rule, uh, the fitting will be the draw slider box, sorry, and the rule will be the unique 60.5A rule. And I will click that here, and here we have now the fittings rule that concerns the, the, the draw front linked to the cabinet side. We're going to click a now another rule which defines the holes that we're going to use to drill into the actual draw side and that will be always the facade component the draw front we're always using the draw front as a reference and this time though the facade the facade components in the drawers will be the draw sides here and the rule will not be the draw slider box it will be the draw slider d side but using the same rule that we had before and now when I click OK and I apply the method to the whole cabinet, you can see that Polyboard has automatically added the, the holes to both sides of the cabinet, both sides of the drawer. And we, can, we are now ready to machine the, the whole, both sides of the drawer. We go back into our cabinet edit mode here. We can close our cabinet edit mode. Let's redimension this cabinet and give it another height. So let's give it a 1 meter 20 height. And let's get rid of the drawer. And let's open, click here and add more drawers. But this time let's add, for instance, six drawers. Our drawers will be, we will have drawer sides. And let's give it a drawer back and a drawer bottom. We'll give our lateral slack of 12.7 as we did before. Add our drawers. And now all our drawers have been added. We haven't yet added our fittings links, but we can see that the fittings links have been automatically added because of the sub method that we're actually using. So we've automatically added all the sub, all the fitting links concerning this drawer simply because we're in that particular sub method. Right, thank you for having looking having having had a look at this video. I hope that it's been of use to you, that you found it interesting and it gives you a bit of a, a an idea of how to set up your drawers and your drawer sliders and also how to use these fantastic tools that are if the libraries methods, manufacturing methods and sub methods. Fantastic, really great tools for going fast in your design and machining and manufacturing. Thank you very much. See you in another video soon. Goodbye.